Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Let's Play with Author JP Edgar, where I've never played some game. Wait, I played some games I never really played for it. I played some games I never really played for it. It's something like that, right? Yeah, who the heck cares? <laughs> what an intro! All right. Today we are continuing our crazy cardboard crushing carnage with Yoshi's Crafted World on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, <laughs> without wasting any more time, let's get going. All right, so unfortunately we lost a lot of uh, costumes and I'm very sad about that. We lost the cupcake, I was very upset about that. Oh, also I discovered that uh, episode two, the second recording, when I posted that on my um, I'm going to do this. There. I discovered that episode two when I uploaded it to YouTube. Um, I accidentally had like half of it cut out because of edits. I uh, saved it for later, so I had a marker there. So it's uh, it rendered from the marker on, not doing the entire thing. So I actually had to take down the video and uh, re-upload it because I smooth brain. And I screwed it up. So that's going to be up there. In episode three, I have edited, but it, it takes a bit to render, and I wasn't able to uh, get it uploaded before today's stream. So uh, whatever. <laughs> but it will be posted probably today or tomorrow. I'm, I'm just a little behind on my on my uh, things. <laughs> on my things. Shout out to Plot Twist for making this awesome Yoshi witch for me. It's really epic. I appreciate it. Love it. And uh, check out her YouTube channel. She talks about all sorts of books, book blogs, book reviews, book stories, book this, book that. Just check it out. Her information is in the description. So, so where do we leave off? We're, uh, we're working on uh, getting the the purplish gem because we got the uh, the one on the south so we're actually getting i think pretty close to getting all the gems back so i think we're in ninja land yes i vaguely recall ninja land because of the, of the four pointed stars so here we go we're going to go behind the soji yes more ninja land behind the soji yeah, we're going to continue this, but we do have a costume. It is it is not the cupcake. It's something. Oh yes, we have the um, the beach bird. <laughs> oh, you do not see me. I am a ninja too. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, is this an auto scrolling level? Oh dear. Uh, that means that um, this level won't apply to my um, my flower roll if it's auto-scrolling. I mean, I'll still try to get it because that's just what the John do. But I'm not going to uh, restart if I don't get it all. There we go. I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That is terrible. I do not wish to be here. Oh, I got to go up. There we go. There we go. There we go. How do we get that? Oh, there we go. Down, 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 down. There we go. Boom. Almost like a pro. Oh, that. <sighs> That uh, that foreground shifting threw me off. <laughs> I was thrown for a loop. I didn't know what was going on. What an interesting little level. Just <clears throat> gonna get rid of that bad boy and get some hearts. Ooh. All right. So this time we're going to wait because that uh, that purple strand. Um, Likes to not. Oh, why did I do that? I have no idea why I did that. That is just smooth brain to me. Especially since. 
especially since uh, that was a red thing, and I don't, I'm not really after the reds. Oh, but I got, I'm still trying, I'm still trying. Go get him, Yoshi, go get him. Uh, I don't know if I got it. Oh, there's a flower though. You know, coincidentally enough, I'm actually doing not, not bad with the flowers. I mean, I'm not doing good with the level, but, oh, what is going on with the foreground? The foreground is being shifty. All right. All right, come on, come on, come on, get down, get down, get down. There we go, there we go. There we go. Not bad, not good, just not bad. Now we're going to wait a second because that's an unscrolly thing. I'm just going to thump, thump you, move on. Oh, it's a timed one. I don't know, I can't see. <laughs> oh. After things, oh, it's over here. Get it. Oh, you, uh, you, uh, come, come, come. okay. All right, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. We got this. We don't got this. Well, okay, we got this. We barely got this. Oh, we got duckies, duckies, duckies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we are falling and we can't get up. Life alert us. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, we got the reds. We got the reds. We got the reds. That's what I get for uh, not being patient and actually just going straight to it, right? <sighs> These are probably little unwindies, so I gotta. Yeah. Oh, that was close. I almost spikied my foot. <laughs> we are now waiting. We are now waiting. We are now waiting. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, what is this? Clever. <laughs> well, it looks like we missed a, uh, a flower, but like I said, this is an auto scroll. Wait. Yeah, this is an auto scroll one. This is uh this doesn't apply to the rules, so slowly going insane. Only from the foreground shiftifying. But still. You know, for out of uh four five out of uh six, not bad considering I wasn't really putting that much effort into getting the flower. So I'll take it. I'll take it. So I bet you that was uh from the uh the missed time thing. So all right, where are we going? Up. Oh, Shogun Kazu! Hurry! <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So there's there's, there's no boss here because it wasn't a uh, a blue um, level screen thing. Oh, an elevator. Wow, the Shogun's very fancy with his elevators. All right, got a race from the... No! Oh, you will sneak as snicks. But it turns out that there might be stuff above, so I got to keep an eye on that. Oh, I just got a craving for uh, big old bites of uh, pizza rolls. I wonder why. Plot twist. <clears throat> That's fine. Oh, you being sneaky moves? Well, I I watch the patterns, and I predict where you're going to go. Okay. We gotta wait a second. I mean, I can throw an egg at it, but I don't know if I want to get an eggy thingy. So I'm just gonna be patient. There we go. There we go. I could have, but I wanted to prep a few things. So, do I need to go upward or rightward? I need to go upward. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, not sure the relevance of that, but let's see if we have to come up hither for the flower. There we are. Yep, there you are. There's the flower. So do I not hit that thing? Do I do this? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Oh, oh well, at least I got the chest. I did not know you would be sneakies. Costume restoration prod seed jar complete. All right, so we got a couple of uh, springs. None of which really do anything. All right. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that's a thing. All right, there's a flower nearby. I thought that was going to be it, but I was lied to. All right, so is the flower beneath me? Is it still forwardish? It was not for the shit wall beneath me. There we go. So there we go. I has the flower. I has the flower. Your she. <laughs> what the heck? All right. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. Uh, oh, oh, no. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's a switch right there. Okay. So I'm going to hit the switch. Well, that. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where uh, you uh, go into the, uh, the upside down world. I need a key, and I do not have a said key. See, the key's down there. I see it. I just don't quite know how to get down there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> sneaky foreground, background thing is sneaky. You try to pull fast one on me. Oh, but I'm too fast for you. Still don't know if the colored eggs actually have any like relevance. Does more damage or whatever. So. So there is a, a flower nearby. Where is it? There you are. Oh! <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, oh, I pushed down on accident. I had an itch on my palm and I pushed the suicide Yoshi hotline. All right. All right. 
What am I doing next? What is the next move, huh? Is it really something as simple as this, just ignoring it and moving on? Yeah, it looks like it. What else? I'll take care of it. <clears throat> oh, ducky, ducky. Oh, he ducks. There, just kind of get rid of those while I look at these puzzles real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Three, one, three. Oh, okay. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's fine. I didn't really need the... Uh, Um, the eggs anyway. Because this one, I just make them swat to the floor. Oh, maybe I did need the eggs. <laughs> what's going on here? What's the what's the timer thing? <gasps> My flower! My flower! All right, there we go. Moving on. <clears throat> okay, so are we going to are we going to have to ricochet? Oh, I see. It's in the background. It's in the background. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. So that means I actually have to, how would regular Yoshi do this? What if I smack it again? Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm gonna have to smack it again. Okay, there we go. Swallow, swallow, chompy chomps. <clears throat> BRB vet called. Yeah, there's a. Uh, you have a lot of animals not doing too hot, so that's unfortunate. Scree! You don't give up easily, do you? Mm, my tremendous traps will be you do. Boop. So I guess I am fighting a boss. <laughs> All right, well, what else? I can boss it up. I has my beach outfit. What's the goal here? Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. Okay. No, that's not it. Do I have to thump him? That's it? That was it? Oh, guess not. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, just time it, time it, time it. There we go. All right, go over hither. Bump, 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 bump. <laughs> Actually, oh, I <laughs> want a lot of sparks. I need to go back down.
right? Oh, barely. Just barely. I was worried. I was worried. Right, let's go. Let's put this back up. Ooh, that was a close one. We need to thunk that? No, we do not. I can't push this because that's going to go right, but I can't go right. So I kind of want to say I want to bring this down, then come up and around and move that to the right. So let's try that. But the thing is, I don't know if this is a, an applicable... Uh oh, what's going on now? That might be a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. That's a hit. Too busy thinking. Too busy thinking. Yeah, I'll just go up this way. Move this to the... Okay. <laughs> oh, so close. Um, there we go. Thumpa, thumpa. Thumpa, thumpa, thump, thump. Well, that was a couple of close calls. Yoshi probably had his toenails trimmed uh, <laughs> navigating through that boss fight. But yeah, that's a uh, yellow all the way. So. All right. I'm going to be right back. Got to take care of something, okay? All right, and we're back. Ah, we finally took down the Shogunate. Where are we going now? We go this way? I think so, yeah. Oh, you extortionist. You want my smiley flowers. Now the Imperial Era can begin. Oh dear, is this like a tree hugging issue? I really put the spring in my step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rumble in the jungle. This silly, silly game. It's a silly, silly game. Exploring the animal kingdom. I actually want to go back to the ninja ones because that, those were fun levels. A lot of little fun mechanics. But I also noticed there's a lot of mechanics and stuff going on. Hold on. What is this now? Okay. I just wanted to confirm something. Um, there were there, there's a lot of mechanics and a lot of monsters. Not the monsters, but like just game design ideas that only apply to one level and that's really interesting for them to do that uh, when i was going to school they were talking about why you shouldn't do that and they were giving an example of a game that i vaguely that i just i can't remember what the game's called i i i mean i've uh thought about it for a while i just can't think of it but basically uh the game was just like a colossal failure and an entire class was taught on that single game in terms of what not to do when doing game design. <laughs> like one example was um, they hired an artist to, uh, to create an arrow. So the, uh, the artist who had never spent a, like a day in his life on any like, 3D software or anything like that or any game engines created this ridiculously high poly arrow <laughs> that's going to be on the screen for like a frame and a half. <laughs> It's like the eggs, when I, when I throw the eggs, are on the screen longer than that arrow. But the guy's been so long. Ooh. Papa, papa. Spent so long on that arrow. <laughs> and this was like a really, I wouldn't necessarily say old game, but well, I suppose it could be old, all things considered. Um, but the hardware at the time could not support. Uh, uh, that amount of uh, vertices on the screen at once, much less the fact that they had uh, 
unique monsters, not bosses, monsters. Uh, for example, uh, the guy was toting, you see this crocodile? This is the only time you'll see the crocodile. And it's on the screen for like five seconds. <laughs> so it was just like one of those really unusual, entertaining classes that I had. That they were just talking about like what not to do. <laughs> so, okay. Well, let me get the... Maybe I'll just do this. We'll do this. I don't know if I'm going to be attacking things. If I'm gonna... There we go. Ooh, bouncy house. Bouncy, bouncy. No, bouncy. Bounce more. There we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. For uh, for reward, you get to eat those two. That was close. Huh. This is sus. <laughs> <clears throat> just wish I remembered the name of that game. Because I brought it up actually a few times in my streams. I just can't remember it. Down, huh? I will not go down. Oh, I don't think I just said that. <laughs> Well, oh, okay, so that, that way I can move the giraffe, okay, okay. <laughs> I try to keep this G-rated, it just doesn't work. <laughs> All right. That's why I censor things out. So when I do make stupid comments like that. Oh! No! That rhino was very rhino-y. Oh no, I don't want to be the spikies. Spiky! No, no spiky. No! Oh, hello, Agus. Oh, spiky! Okay. <laughs> oh, the spiky was almost a spiky. Oh, turn around for a second. Turn around for a second. Oh, hello, gift. I run away! Oh, oh no, I got the hits. But let's see if the rhino can jump. The rhino cannot jump. I'm just going to walk away. Later, rhino. All right, let's grab some coin. Oh, oh, no, that was a hard hit. Oh, I, I have to do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you jumped. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, don't hurt me right now. Oh, thank Odin. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we can go back and uh, search, but I was, I was going to lose it for a second. I almost lost it. I did not expect that Ryan to jump up like that. <laughs> well, now you're popping things. What, what's, what's down there? What's down there? Oh, hello. A flower. I actually didn't know I missed a flower. Thank you very much, Rhino. I shall not make fun of you any further. Pony bastard. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, don't. No, don't pokies. No pokies. No pokies. Oh, okay. Okay. We good. We good. We good. That rhino's from James and the Giant Peach. Yeah, makes absolutely no sense, that thing. But I thought that was it. I thought that was, I thought I lost the costume. I would have been grumps. Hmm. 
Does this remind you of that uh, TV show Wipeout? <laughs> Make sure we have all of our eggs before we do this. Oh, there's a lot of them. There are a lot of them. Badoosh! Gotcha! Oh, I missed one. Gotta turn around now. Is it in one of these? That did nothing. right there. Is it up here? Oh, it's up here. Hello. Hello, my smiley flower. Okay, continuing on, continuing on. Oh, that's why you're angry. Okay, Rhino, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. I'll help a homie Rhino out. I said homie Rhino. There, get rid of those. Oh. Well, now. <laughs> I don't know where else to go. That was it. I, I, I could try to go back down there, but I couldn't. Let's see if I can do that. I most certainly cannot. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Hmm. 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 Looking in the background. Ah, okay. I was kind of on it. I was kind of on it. Kind of. Sorry, I had to uh, call the Nintendo Power hotline, the 1900 from the 80s, in the back of Nintendo Powers to get clues. Fun fact I'd like to tell you a little something about my history. So, <clears throat> you may or may not know of a game called Time Killers. This game was originally in the arcade before uh, being ported over to, or theoretically being ported over to like the Sega CD and the Sega 32X, which are systems I had. I went uh, Sega, the rest of my family went Nintendo. So I heard that they were porting this game over. So I was, I was excited. I, I really wanted the game because I remember playing it in Reno, Nevada one day when my mother uh, took a vacation and uh, I took 20 bucks, not stole. She gave me 20 bucks. And I spent it all on this game. And uh, it was a fun game for me. I uh, was, I played like this little, uh, um, this little samurai guy. And I was cutting off limbs and stuff like that. It was really awesome. It was, okay, I got all the flowers. I can move on. It was really awesome. I really enjoyed the game. And then I heard they were going to pour it over to like the 32 arc, I think it was. I read it in one of those, uh, not necessarily Nintendo Powers, but the equivalent for the Sega. And uh, I waited one month, two months later. I said, okay, I want to figure out what's going on. So I went and called the 900 number to get clues on when that game was going to be released. And the only thing they could say was the equivalent of soon. But they kept me on the phone. <laughs> Here I am, little kid me, calling a 900 number to get information. They were just ripping my mom off. They were ripping her off. 
Because they, they kept me on there for like 30 or 45 minutes for like a five minute question. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think my mother ever, ever, ever actually figured out that uh, I did that. It probably wasn't like, like that huge of a charge. But, you know, when you're a kid, you don't actually quite understand the 900 numbers. So I kept calling them and calling them. I never heard anything about it, so. And uh, to this day, I don't know if they actually released. Um, there's a snuck there. I don't know if they released time killers, like basically on consoles, because uh, it was a brand new game for the uh, for the arcade, and the arcade had a lot of hardware that consoles just couldn't compete with. Even PCs couldn't compete with it. It was just there was a lot of hardware that the, uh, the arcades had. That's why a lot of the ports uh, from arcade to console, such as um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, didn't look right, didn't feel right. Or um, games like uh, Cobra Command. It just didn't look right or feel right because of the ports. Um, it's just the hardware wasn't there. Heck, even uh, the... What was that? Okay. Even the uh, Mortal Kombat, just the hardware wasn't there. But when you played it in the arcade, it was it was epic. There was a lot of stuff going on. You had a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> a lot of options, a lot of graphics, and a lot of just this and that. It just, yeah, it just didn't compete back in the day. So... And it's, it's not necessarily like that now, but you can definitely, uh, well, you're not constricted by the hardware when it comes to the arcade. You can actually, you know, pack a bunch of stuff in arcade games that you can't in uh, consoles, so. Hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> No! Back it, back it, back it, back it, back it! <laughs> back it, back it, back it, back it, back it! I was not expecting that. Can I go up? Oh! Kind of. Okay. Okay. You know what? Uh, that's fine. This snake kind of threw me for a loop, so. The snake threw me for a loop. I just looked it up. It wasn't released until 97 for the Genesis, but it, but it sold poorly. Critics say the graphics sucked and the gameplay was horrible. Yeah, but when I played it on the arcade, it was, it was an interesting take. It was like one of the selling points for Mortal Kombat was the, the blood and Time Killers had that. It had like a bunch of uh, blood gore, full on mangling and stuff like that. So it was a really enticing game for a kid. Uh oh, I'm missing a flower. So I'm gonna have to go back and find this flower. But, um, Oh, that's nothing. Oh, just dunk them down. <laughs> Where's this flower? Where's this flower? I'll, 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 cry, I'll try to go to the right. I'll try to go to the right. Nothing there. Let's go over here. Okay, I think it's over here. There we are. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it spent so long trying to port everything over from the arcade to the console, trying to get the licensing, trying to figure out what's going on with the graphics. By the time it was released, it was obsolete. So. Oh. He thumped me. How rude. 
How rude. I knew that was a flower. I knew that was a flower. Okay, I guess I'll just go this way. No, I can't go this way because this is actually where I came from. Bah! Going back the way I came like a, like a fool. Okay, here we go. Moving on, moving on. Oh, no! Be gone, long one. <laughs> Where do I go now? Oh, I guess this way. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I need to be careful. I have... Man, this thing just, oh no, okay, I'm moving on. I am no longer looking for extra stuff. I gotta, I have to, I have to find a safe point. Snake, don't walk this little. <laughs> uh, that was my favorite movie as a kid. I remember uh, renting it from like Blockbuster and just never returning it. Let's try this. All right. Okay, we got to Oh no, that's it! Oh no! <laughs> oh, the humanity! Oh no, Beach Bird is gone! Oh, bollocks! Oh no! <sighs> Soul shattering! Protests in the street, riots! No. Ugh. That's crushing. That is that is brutal. Uh. Oh, Bert. Why, Bert? Why? Why did you leave me? <laughs> Why? Ugh. Now I gotta go spend a ridiculous amount of coin on something that's only gonna give me three health. Oh, I'm so disappointed. But I have to do this. It's going to bug me if I don't clear all these things. Uh, I should have just kept going like a normal sane person would. Because I bet you I'm going to get a safe point right after this section. I bet you I'll put money on it. I'll put money on it. And there it is. I could have saved Bert. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> just damn it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so disheartened it's, it's affecting my gameplay. <laughs> oh, that is definitely not where I want to go. Oh. You, I didn't know you could do that. You could bounce off. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so. Oh, man. Uh, I am doing horribly, but I have an idea. Oh, that's not the idea. You silly frog. Boom. There's the idea. That's what I'm talking about. 
But I didn't know that it, you can uh, bounce off the egg and like jump off it. That's probably a tactic that, oh, you again. You burp killer. Layer of the oh dear, I'm actually not in a really good position. I'm gonna have to do this. And oh, the pain! Oh dear, I'm in the same position again. Why would I do this to myself for science? For science. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's one way of doing it. But I don't have any. Um, eggs, so I got to be careful on what I do. I'm going to see if I can't bait the snake on the lower tier first, then we'll go up. Come here, Snicky. Come here, Snicky. Snicky, 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 Snicky. Well, it's not quite what I had in mind. I suppose it'll work. Come on, Snicker. Come here, Snicker. Snicker, Snicker! You rebel scum. Okay, it's not going to do it. I, got to, uh, I have to find some... I have to find some eggies. Or I could just do this. Uh, apparently not that well. Okay. So I'm trying to position myself where I get uh, two of the uh, columns with every rump stump. So there was a game on the Super Nintendo called SimCity. You probably know SimCity by now. But um, it was basically, if you don't know, this, this giant grid where you can build a city on. And there was a way that you can like put grass on dirt. You know, you just change the, che uh, change the texture of it. Wait, am I good to go? I'm good to go. Change the texture of that grid from dirt to like grass and it's this huge thing i don't recall the the grid dimensions but it was a it was a massive grid and the ridicule that you had was only a one by one so what i would do and it would take a long time and this is kind of how i want to say, say i have ocd but i have uh i'm very particular when it comes to getting things completed I would start in the bottom left corner and then go square by square after un uh, unlocking unlimited money or a lot of the money from the cheat. I don't remember what it was, but going square by square and uh, replacing all of the, um, the dirt with uh, grass. Just do, do, do. It would take hours <laughs> because I didn't like how the dirt looked. And that I thought it would improve my gameplay if I turned it all in. Oh, I gotta get a, uh, a costume. I thought it would improve my gameplay, like increase my income or something. Basically, it would help me somehow, some way, if I turned everything into grass. So I turned everything into grass, and I still stuck with the game. <laughs> but it was fun. Like if I if I had unlimited money, I can just build whatever I wanted, however I wanted, and stuff like that. And I just. That's kind of how I got into those little building games. Like, I play uh, City Skylines now. And uh, I'm looking forward to City Skylines 2 coming out. Boshido. Super rare. <gasps> oh. I have to quit the Boshido. 
Oh, look at that thing. There we go. Backing up. So now I play City Skylines, and I've I spent near a thousand hours on that game. I'm not even like that great at it, I would say. I don't make like really intricate, pretty designs. I just do functionality. Like um, unlike Biffa, he just creates these glorious maps with functional cities and this that, and he makes money because I've tried making pretty cities that look good, you know, that uh, seem pseudo realistic, and I'm just losing money left and right. I'm just like. <laughs> just tossing it out like dollar bills at a uh, <clears throat> candy factory. But hold on a minute. Let's watch this. Toss eggs at an animal target. There's a whole lot of them hiding around. But I don't have eggs. I have eggs. <clears throat> so like Biffa does indie games. He does, uh, he makes cities um, that look good and function. I make cities that function, but don't look good. They're just boring grids. Uh, let's just kind of... Okay. I don't remember the scoring criteria, but that's irrelevant at this point. Okay. Okay, I wanna I'm low on eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Come on, go this way. Oh, hello. That's the important thing right there. There we go. Um, I was saying something, but just give me a minute to focus on this. <laughs> so many. I'm probably doing like ridiculously crap. That was it? Oh, I got three out of six, but I guess like the other three would be the points. But since this is a uh, irrelevant oh, plot twist, go to the corner. Um, uh, yeah, this but this level is basically irrelevant on the uh, the, the flowers thing. So I'm just going to move on, moving on, moving on. Um, City skylines and Biffa, I think I was talking about. <clears throat> So, I play a lot of City Skylines. It's mostly in the background, especially when I'm rendering. Um, 
an edit and a video, stuff like that, I'll have it. That way my computer doesn't go to sleep. Granted, I can always just tell my computer to stop going to sleep, but where's the fun in that? Um, and I'll just make a city. Doesn't look good. I'm trying, but like I said, it's just because of how this, uh, how the engine's designed, it's not really accurate when it comes to the like the distance of schools, for example, or oh, excuse me, or the AI of traffic. That's a big one. City skylines, in my opinion, has, is basically like a traffic simulator. <laughs> and uh, since the AI for traffic is relatively poor, you actually need add-ons to manage the traffic. So you can actually say this is a turn, this is a turn lane, or if I want. Uh, there's no yield signs, for example, in the in the vanilla version. So it's either stop or stop uh, stop lights, and you don't want your traffic to stop. No one no one gets into accidents in the city skylines one. So, oh, I think I'm going for a boss fight. The Rumble Jumbo. I still play it though. I still play it. I still build ridiculous cities. Nothing too fancy or anything like that. Um, I actually discovered city skylines actually we'll talk about that after this i'll probably have to do some talking and some reading here shortly because this is a boss fight <laughs> why do you need the train you're still flying Check out that sweet ride. It's bigger than mine, too. They have a pill for that. I want the big. <laughs> I want a bigger train. <laughs> <laughs> Your stickiness, we must maintain our focus if we're to find them. Don't care, I want a bigger train. Mine's not big enough or cool enough. Man. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. This isn't actually Bowser, right? This is actually one of the kids, like a baby Bowser. That's why he's acting like a whiny jerk. Okay. I want a gator train. Okay. I want a gator train. I want one. I want one. I want one. Make it for me now. There's no time, your brattiness. <laughs> we must continue our quest for the gems. Or gems, men. Make me the gator train right now. Answer the question! No fair! Enough! See this foot? It's going down! <laughs> At least I whispered that. <laughs> okay. Let's focus up. Let's focus up. Huh? Let's focus up. Yo, 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 Yoshi. Yeah, you. Don't just stand there. Give me a hand. You're not going to let this guy shove me around, are you? Who's the right one here? Um, Yeah. You are a bratty child. Seriously, who asked you anyway? That's why I sided with the mage. How dare you angle his roly poliness? <laughs> you, your insolence must be punished. So I got a, I got a story about that. Uh, that too. I'll make you the ahem, coolest train you've ever seen. Your brutishness. Hearts. And that's making the trains irrelevant. <laughs> okay, I have 
I, I was talking about Biffa and City Skylines. I think I was talking about how I originally start, uh, discovered City Skylines. And then I have this story about early police. So remind me of those. Remind me of those. I'll talk about them. <clears throat> And these little mages have phenomenal cosmic power, but they really, like, come on. Reminds me of those wizards in Zelda. I was playing Windwalker and uh, those wizards, oh, they suck. They suck. Having to fight them and try to, try to sneak on by. All right. I don't have any, there we go, we got some eggs. Okay, that's. I'm probably shooting myself in the foot at this moment, but that was easier than expected. See? Okay, okay, so I guess that was intentional. Don't really know what's going on, but okay. <laughs> all right. All right. No, oh, come back. Square smacker smacker. I smacker your face. Oh, oh. Ouchies. Karanza's missiles, LOL out loud. It makes me LOL out loud. I'm fully aware of what LOL means, that's a joke. All right, we'll start with um, Discovery of City Skylines. So I was looking for games on Steam to help me build castles because um, I'm writing a fantasy novel and I needed some inspiration on fantasy design, fantasy castles, how things were built, how to describe things, how to navigate from point A to point B, whether it's realistic, realistic or not, I just need a consistency. Like for Bloodlines of Atmos, like the first book, I actually um, drafted the entire, um, the entire orphanage and I put it in a, 3D software, I modeled it in Maya. So that way I can walk through it if I had to, to get some of the general descriptions to keep locations consistent and figure that stuff out. So like all that stuff was, was, was there, so. But I was looking for a software or a game more or less to let me create my own castle. I still have yet to find one and if I still, uh, if I was still doing game design, game creation, I probably would have looked into doing castle creation and castle simulator. Hint to the hint, hint designers, that's an idea for you. Uh, but like a city skylines for castles and medieval places and stuff like that. But uh, when I was looking for building simulators, city skylines came up. Now this isn't the first time I heard of it or saw it but it's the first time I recall it because um, uh, Plot Twist played City Skylines or at least they talked about it. Um, and I just didn't recall. So when I got the game, I started playing it. I'm like, all right, this works. And this is it's for cities because uh, Bloodlines had uh, cities and stuff like that to work with, especially when it comes to book three. That uh, was a lot of stuff in the city, but I kind of lost track of that. Anyway, um, so... Wait, what happened? No, 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 no. What's going on here? You're falling short on gems. Oh, so I, I need to... Oh, so I need to get all the gems before I continue. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I was out of flowers. I said, oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. I am not a out of flowers, boy. Anyway, let's go 
get the last gem. So yeah, I uh, was the original reason I got City Skylines was because I was going to model a city and use that for book three. That's basically what it comes down to. Yeah, little fun fact for you. And if I write the story of Maya, I might actually do that because um, it's kind of relevant in a sense. I mean, granted, it probably won't be, I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, don't give up. Yeah, just give me my, I'm going to look at the map real quick. I, I don't know. I, I'm still probably going to use it for its, or for my original reasons, the intended purposes. Yeah, I'm going to actually skip that one. I want to go, I want to go south and go back to the Ninja Land. <clears throat> so, I want to like model the city, make it working and functional. But the thing is, um, the time frame and the technology levels of bloodlines uh, at least for the story of jace does not add up to the technology level of city skylines so it might not work completely but at the very least it'll get me an idea so wait a minute Ugh. can i just say no and move on I can't continue. I can't move on. So why can't I move on? Is it because I didn't... Do I have to go around? Do I have to go this way? Ah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, this way, okay. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, um, that's how I got introduced to City Skylines. But I still had no idea how to play it. So when I looked up a general tutorial, I, I found Biffa's channel. And the, uh, the tea drinking Brit really like, taught me a lot in terms of the general basics of, this, of the game. And I really appreciate his videos. It's just so high, light, so lighthearted and so fun and so just relaxing. So. And his occasional sip of tea and it, everything being tea related. <laughs> so... <clears throat> <clears throat> all right so yeah that's my general history with city skylines and i'm waiting for the second one to come out so i can epically fail on that one too because that's just what i'm going to do epically fail on it i have a costume of a costume you don't know i'm here oh yay oh you don't see me. You don't see me. <sighs> no. I can't eat? <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, but I can... I. Oh. Okay, so I can actually uh, nose them. Okay. So it's not a complete loss. I thought that was like a curse. Kind of reminds me of the... Uh... <clears throat> of the eggplants in... Kid Icarus. Who remembers those? I'm just going to go straight forward. <laughs> Apparently, you can just face plant all the things. Oh, no! I didn't know I lost the thingy. Never played Keg Dickers. I'm not ancient. Oh. You're so mean. That was entirely unnecessary. I'm not going to be able to get this guy, huh? No, I can't. I got to move on. I got to move on. Can I do this? No. You don't get to heart me after you uh, say something like that. Jerk. Oh, 
I forgot I can't thump him. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. I gotta move on though. Okay, what are you gonna do? There we go. Boom. All right, we got to get that fool over here to. Oh, oh no, oh no. Can I do this? Okay, I can. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Okay, we're just gonna move on. I, I don't wanna do a uh, test to see if I can headbutt those things with this thing because of my, oh, there we go, come back. We're gonna headbutt. We're gonna headbutt now. Thump, thump, okay. Okay, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, but I need to be careful now because I am, no, I'm, I'm not low on health anymore. Yeah, I, I got full healthies now, so yeah, never mind. JK, JK, I don't need to be careful anymore. I can be, I can do reckless stuff. Did I miss one? Yeah, probably up here. There you are. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> so roly polies. I got a, I got a story to tell you about that. So when I was a kid, I lived in an apartment complex. That wasn't really the most. Oh oh oh. Okay. <laughs> um, high end. Um, it was a, it was a rundown apartment, apartment complex, if that tells you anything. And there was this kiddie pool that had a hole in it, so it was just. What are you doing? So it was just on the uh, on its side up up against a wall. And every single time I walked by that little kiddie pool, there were strange insects with hard shells that when you touched them, they rolled into a ball. And I had a friend at the time named Sharon. I think she was younger than me. I don't quite know. But she asked me, what are those? And I said, well, Okay, here's, here's my train of thought. They were, when you touch them, they roll up into a ball. And they were always found in the pool. So I named them Rolly Poys. Then, 10, 15 years later, I'm not even kidding on that one. I saw one. I, I, I looked at it, and then someone walked by. I don't remember exactly who it was. I, I don't know if it was a family or a friend, but somebody walked by and said, oh, check it out. It's a roly-poly. I was like, wait, what? What did you call it? Roly-poly. And then for a, a hot minute, I thought I named those bugs. And Sharon turned out to be a scientist and took credit for those bugs with my name. I am dead serious. I am dead serious. I thought I named a bug and Sharon stole that name. Because he called it Roly Poly. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. I was so blown and completely flabbergasted. I was mind boggled. I had, I have no idea. That, that was like one of the strangest coincidences. Uh, and uh, yeah, apparently Roly Polies were a thing before I, came, before I called it a Roly Poly. <laughs> It was such a, a, a surreal moment for me to see that 
and to hear someone else call it. I was just, it was so, wow. It was, it was just one of those things. <clears throat> and the thing is, when that happened, I was out of high school. That should tell you how long it's been since that, oh, what's going on here? That should tell you how long it's been since uh, the time in the apartments versus the, uh, the time I saw those again and someone actually calling a roly poly. It was just, uh, it was such a, a moment. It was so surreal for me. Oh no, oh no. I don't like this at all. I really don't like this at all. Can I thump it? No, I can't. I actually have to do this. Okay, okay. I mean, my story is uh, not the best. I, d I didn't really tell it that great. But it was still true. Um, okay, what's going on here? There we go. <laughs> I couldn't uh, activate the super jump on that uh, on that ball. Okay. Uh oh, I have to go down. That's going to have to do. Oh, no. One more hit. One more hit. Please save points. Save me. <laughs> save me. Save points. Give me a point of savings. Please save point, please save point. I don't want to be costumeless. This is a good costume. It's a, it's a ninja costume. Oh, it goes super quick. I don't like it. <laughs> run, 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 run. Oh, up and over. Okay, run, run, run. You got this. Go, Yoshi, go. <laughs> I was close. I was really close. I thought I was going to use uh, lose my costume. I thought I was going to lose it. I had a similar story with silverfish. They were shiny and moved like fish when they ran, so I called them fish bugs. Then my grandmother told me what they were called. <laughs> fish bugs. It's just such a surreal moment when you hear someone else call up by something that you thought you made up. Like, what kind of silly scientific term is roly-poly? But they rolled into a ball, and I found them in a, uh, in a tub. All right, moving on. So... Yeah, that was just interesting. I mean, if I named it like um, the Bugamus Roly Polius or something, like, or some sort of like a <laughs> Latin name or something like that, something very fancy, and all of a sudden someone called it that too, that would just be, that'd be ridiculous. But Roly Poly doesn't sound very scientific at all. So I swear for a hot minute, I thought I named those things. I thought I invented that name. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was a crazy, crazy experience. Story with silverfish, they were shining move like a fish. Oh, you're talking like those those uh like those those land bugs, right? Burst a lot of balloons.
So it looks like this is just a balancing game. <laughs> what a crazy concept this level is. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So should I just ignore those? I think I should just ignore those. I actually totally forgot I could throw things. <laughs> I was so focused on making sure I don't... Well, I'm going to fail anyway, but I was making sure I just, I actually, you know, things. Yeah, I think those are just mines. I don't want to hit those. Oh, that's what I thought. Um, though stuff did happen, it wasn't quite what I expected. That's the good news, but still. Interesting level. So what do I do now? What do I do now? Uh, it's giving me eggs, so I'm going to assume... I have no idea. I have no idea what I was supposed to do. Yeah, they're super fast. You find them in the shower sometimes to eat books. Oh, so yeah, they're, they are your enemy. They are your enemy. Let us move on. Poochie's Magma Run. Oh, you don't want Poochie in the Molten Hot Magma. Um, <laughs> Town Silverfish are evil. <laughs> I don't have a... I do now. Come back. Come back. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing? Flee! Run away! I don't know what that was. Okay, there's another 
flower here. Oh, hello, Poochie Poochie. Come, let us vanquish our enemies together. Hmm. I want to have to make you go into the lava so you can get all of those. Oh, especially that. Oh, ho, oh, good Poochie. You're the best Poochie. Come on. Let us continue with our triumphant ride of glory and doom. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Now Poochie's going to run this way, grab those things, and jump up here. Yeah, there we go. These things are like hellhounds. Poochie's a hellhound, isn't he? I mean, think about it. He's just straight up running in the uh, running in the lava. Nothing can hurt or kill him. Let's wait patiently. Oh, I said patiently. That was not patiently. I wonder if I can hit that thing. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can egg the, uh, let go of that ego. Okay, so it went, it submerged, but I don't know if it died or despawned or what. So I'm going to have, oh, it just despawned for a little bit. Two, three. All right, now we know the criteria to remove that thing for, uh, temporarily from this map. <clears throat> oh, no. There, just kind of get rid of it real quick. Another time to vent. I have, yeah, let's do it. Come on. Let us be off. Oh, no. I don't know if I want to get it. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was close. But we are missing a, we're missing a uh, flower now. It's back over here. That was close. Where was it? The uh, the icon or the uh, the element came up. So where was it? Where did it come up at? No, it's definitely not this way. Otherwise, we wouldn't have these coins. Oh, okay, he made it. I was kind of worried for a second. Because if Poochie is uh, trapped behind there, I don't know if I can... Well, I, I could. It'll take a while. Effectively make it. 
It has to be over here. Let's go up. I could have swore I saw it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Where the heck is it? Where is it? Oh, duh. Just duh. <laughs> I think I was so focused on that thing that I, w I didn't actually see the flower. That's probably it. I'm just going to get a drink of water while we're doing some auto running. There we go. There's the end. <clears throat> all right. We got all the flowers. <laughs> we missed an obvious one. That's just what I do, right? That's what I do. That's just what I do. You know, there's a reason why I'm playing these games and streaming while standing. That way I can move around and flex a little bit and get my shoulders going. <laughs> because I can hyper-focus on a game or something like that, and I'll be stuck in a position and hunched over with ridiculously bad posture, and oh, it's terrible. So being able to stand like this, I can rock back and forth. Granted, I have a squeak on <laughs> on the, uh, the walking treadmill that I'll be using again. Not while streaming. I tried it a few times while streaming. I didn't like the, um, I just didn't like how it came out. Um, and I'll be using it again. What derpy little seagulls. Okay, I can actually stand on the seagulls. Okay. They lose out the two, but I can stand on them. Oh, they hurt, they hurt, they hurt too. Oh, uh, you, you jerks. Oh, that's twice. Oh, I see that. I see ya. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of flowers in this level. All right, my costume has been restored. <laughs> my timing is not good. <laughs> That's another one. That oh, doesn't matter. So where are our, what are our options? We have one heart, one coin, ten coin, no, five hearts, ten coin. We don't need hearts, we need coin. Oh, we decided to get hearts anyway like a loser. Okay, moving on. <laughs> oh. Boom. There we go. There we go. Push the wrong button that time. There we go. 
Mexico. Go. Doing good, I think. Okay, I'm getting uh, the UI element for a flower, so let's see what's going on. Ah, oh, there we go. Another flower is nearby. There we go. That's all the flowers. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, I have. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm not absolutely failing. That was a, a pretty catastrophic, or not catastrophic, but a pretty much a chain stupid reaction. But yeah, that's it. Boom, we got it. We got it. We got it. I think one more level. What do you think? One more level. Una mas. Atichi. I missed a red coin. Ah, it doesn't matter. That is irrelevant at this time. That is irrelevant. <clears throat> so, we got the ninja level, which we just completed, so we're going to be going upward. Ooh, I'm wiped out. Only if you can give me stuff because I like to extort. I'm not going to let you go through with unless you give me flowery drugs. All right. What is this? For some reason, I got a flashback to the old game called Witches and Warriors from the Nintendo. Clunky controls, but it was a, that was a really good, tough game. That's a really tough game. Wing Acorns. Last map for the day. Last map for the day. Last map of the day. So tell me, what is the first game you remember playing? Like first console game or yeah, not 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 a PC game, a console game. What was the first one you remember playing? Yeah, let me know. That thing is really sus. Oh no, it's red. No, don't hurt me. I didn't mean to lick you. You just look so good and delicious. I thought you had honey. Yoshi Story was your first game? So basically, like, this is... Um, I wouldn't necessarily say a sequel, but this is basically like the first game. This but on, like, another console. <sighs> yeah, I thought I had to uh, do something because I saw the uh, yellow strip in the background. Yoshi's Story or Mario Kart? But you're pretty sure it's Yoshi's Story. Yeah, I never played Yoshi's Story. I, I played Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. And the next time I played it was... It was the one with the... We had to, we, we could play two players on the same cart. One was the Gunner. 64? Yeah, my uh, friend had Mario Kart. 
Uh, what shenanigans is going on? My uh, friend had Mario Kart. She was really good at it, and she liked to uh, show off about it. So another friend and I spent a ridiculous amount of time <laughs> practicing getting our moves. And uh, the next time we play, we just raffle stomped. We haven't played since. <laughs> Three one 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 three one 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 three. Yeah, we uh, we haven't played it since. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I have that. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say a knack, but a demeanor of. Um. Come on, get in there. Actually, maybe I don't want you in there. Cause I saw another spiky. Yeah, so the, the spikies are spawning. Spunkies. What are you? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm on it. So as I was saying, it's like uh, my friend and I spent a lot of time learning that game and getting good at the maps and figuring out how to uh, work with the unusual Mario Kart concept of pilot and gunner. And we uh, we got pretty decent at that game. And then uh, when we played uh, the person who was really good at it again, it was pretty much a raffle stomp. <laughs> and we haven't played since. But that actually reminds me of another story. And I'll tell you, about, uh, it, it kind of goes over the demeanor. Uh, plot twist, you already know about this, but, you know, other people on the stream stuff won't necessarily know about it. So, um, I don't think I need eggs. Just do that. Better safe than sorry, right? God, what was that game called? I actually didn't expect to be coming up here and finding the flowers, so that was a unbeknownst bonus right there. Cardinal, Cardinal. You know what? I'll be right back. I want to find that game real quick.
the microphone the story and not the stream. So, Cardinal Sin. This is the game right here for PlayStation 1, okay? It's a fighting game. Uh, my brother had the PlayStation, and when he got the PlayStation, he gave me a Super Nintendo. But since he had the PlayStation, um, I wasn't allowed to play it. It was in his room the entire time. And then he got that game. Can I break that? Yeah, there we go. So he got that game. It was a fighting game. And every single time I played him, he whooped my butt. Because he was able to practice. He was able to learn the game, and I wasn't able to. Um, yeah, whatever. And I, I just couldn't beat him. I just couldn't. I just, I just couldn't practice because he didn't let me. So one day, he went out of town. And the entire time he was out of town, I played that game. I stayed in his room and basically slept in his room, not in his bed, just in the room playing this game, spent all weekend playing the game. And as I was playing the game, I discovered that there are certain button combinations that give you um, an attack combination. And more importantly, if the last hit of this combination uh, lands, it does a killing blow regardless of your health. And <laughs> that was big. And I spent a lot of time memorizing and learning all these button combinations. And the thing is, I didn't have any cheat codes or anything like no inter interwebs or anything like that to find out what these combinations were. So I had to play the game over and over again until I figured it out, until I got the button combinations. I learned them on my own. Now, the good news is when you swung a weapon and there was like a, a light trail, that means like it was one of the combinations. So you were able to actually... Uh, visually see the combination starting and ending, and you're able to see when you actually hit a combination. So it wasn't necessarily like uh, you learn all the fatalities in Mortal Kombat on your own. It's nothing like that. Nothing like that. But I learned these combinations, and I learned how to move around and start them and end them. And the really slow, the last really slow hit, if it hit, it killed you, right? But I practiced. And then he uh, then he came home. I said, hey, want to play some Cardinal Sin? He's like, sure. Took me to the room, started playing, and I unloaded on him. I unloaded. I hit that button combination, <laughs> and uh, he's like, what the hell is this? Because he couldn't get out of it. He didn't know what was going on. I was like, hit, 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 hit. He's like, what the heck is this? And then the last blow landed. No, come back. Oh, I, I missed. Oh, I missed the flower. But then the last blow landed. He just threw the controller, walked around a little bit, said, Get out of my room. Just get out of my room. <laughs> Kicked me out of his room. And we never played that game again. <laughs> uh, it was just one of those things. Yeah, he was, he was angry. He was mad. He was big mad. <laughs> and that's when I learned I can be kind of competitive. <laughs> Let's see if I can go back and get that flower. But that's just what I do. Um, when I was uh, learning how to play Tekken, I did something very similar. When I was playing tournaments, I'd do something similar. Um, when I was learning how to play uh, Smash Brothers, I did something similar. I just focused and became pseudo obsessed with the games so I can learn how to play them and get good. So I never won any tournaments, never made it to any finals or anything like that, but I played in them because I felt that was pretty decent enough at them. But oh man. Oh, it's. It, there, there's a collider there. I can't. I can't go on. I have to do this level again. <sighs> okay. But yeah. Um, that's been my general competitiveness. Um, I kind of, I kind of put an end to that because I learned that uh, I I ruined the fun out of a lot of games for my friends by doing that. Unless of course they were equally competitive. In that case, then yeah, and that's kind of how it was with uh, with Smash Brothers. They were really competitive. I missed three of them. I did absolutely horrible in that, didn't I? I was so busy on storytelling. 
but I'm going to have to do this another time. So uh, if they're equally competitive, I will match their competitiveness and I'll beat the crap out of them later. They'll, eat, they'll beat the crap out of me too, but it, that's just how it goes. It goes back and forth. You know, if, you ha if you're facing off against someone who's equally as uh, good as you, it's, it's just fun. It's just fun. So, anyway. <laughs> I did absolutely horrible on that last mission, but I, I got distracted by stories and other shenanigans, right? <laughs> so, that just about does it for this episode. Yoshi getting in the way. <laughs> okay. That's just about does it for this episode. If you do enjoy the content, like, subscribe, uh, notifications, comment, um, lose another costume, get another costume. I don't know. Name Roly Polies. Whatever YouTube wants you to do nowadays. <laughs> And check out my website, jpedgar.com, for my blog, my books, whether they are softbound books, digital books, or even audio books, or even my merchandise, like my shirts, and hopefully my, that uh, other shirt will come in soon, and the stream schedule. And just a reminder, my stream and my, uh, my Let's Play are two separate channels, so if you're watching this live, go to the Let's Play archive. If you're watching this in the Let's Play, check out you know, the live stream, all that stuff in the description. So yeah, that just about does it. Thank you very much for stopping in. More ridiculous to come.